Kansas City restaurant owners say a city policy is hurting their employees and wasting money. We're talking about bar cards, something city leaders say are in place to keep you safe. New at 6, our Lindsay Shively breaks down those costs for us. Deanna Arnold loves waiting tables, but she's out of work. It's tough. It's tough. And when a Kansas City job came up? I turned it down. I didn't have the $42. $42. That's the cost of an employee liquor permit required for any worker involved with selling alcohol. You can't put roadblocks in front of people to get jobs. Longtime Westport business owner Bill Nigro has been battling the bar cards for years. People come into bars and restaurants for work. They're penniless. What am I paying for? It's all about public safety. Jim Reddy says about half of that $42 pays for a nationwide background check to keep certain felons out. A sex offender Serving drinks in a liquor establishment makes about as much sense as a child molester working in a daycare. The nationwide background check costs $21.50. In Kansas, the Department of Revenue says no cities require these permits. Neither do Lee Summit or Springfield. In Independence, $15 pays for a citywide background check. And even in St. Louis, just $11 pays for a statewide background check. I know for 100% fact that when we do, we used to do the exact same check St. Louis did, we had convicted felons working in our city. But that still leaves $20.50. Where does that go? To keep the regulated industries division running. The money we collect, I'm not even paying for staff. That's why I had to go through the reduction of force myself this year. But not necessary, says Nigro. I don't need the city to help protect me. Lindsay Shively, 41 Action News.